Okay, here I am all alone, but you guys can watch this video later. That's okay. I'm here to reteach about time, especially to the nearest minute. So let's take a look. As you recall, we have our hour hand, the short hand, and our minute hand, our long hand. Hour, minute. That's how I always remember it. And each of the big numbers, as they're uh, represented by the minute hand, are multiples of five. So if my minute hand's on the two, I'm at 10 minutes. So this time says 10, 10. Let's take a look at this time. So we have our minute hand here on this line right here, right after the two. 5, 10, and then one more would be 11. Sorry, 11. And then our hour would be right after the 4. So closer to the smaller number is 4. Or 11 is the time there. Let's take a look at this one. We've got 6 because we're in between the 6 and 7. And even though we're closer to the 7, it's still the smaller numbers. So 6. And then our minute to count by fives on your big numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 45, 46, 47. 6, 47 is the time there. Remember, even though it's closer to the 7, if it's in between two numbers, it's always the smaller number is our hour there. Looking at this one, we're in between 9 and 10. We're at 9 o'clock. And let's see the minute, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 9, 17. So just watch where that line or the, the arrow is pointing um, because you might, you might be just a couple minutes off or a minute off and that will get it um, incorrect. So make sure you check where that line is hitting or the arrow is hitting which line. Let's look at this one. Going back to just if it's on the number, so let's say my minute hand is there and my hour hand is here. So I'm in between the eight and the nine. Always go with the smaller one. Eight and then five, ten. Eight, ten is our answer. Okay, there's just some review. Just double check you're looking at which line it is hitting if it's in between those numbers. And good Look, you've got this.